Hello and you're very welcome to Roscommon County Matters, the programme that takes you out and about throughout the county. This week we're coming to you from Ballyleague and Lanesborough on the border of Roscommon and Longford for the World Predator Boat Fishing Competition. The Lottery Angling Hub here in Ballyleague fought off stiff competition to host this prestigious event. With visitors and competitors from 17 countries, it's a much needed boost to the economy and tourism. The Lockery Angling Hub was formed in January 2015 and we had a couple of aims to put fishing back, to revitalise the fishing here in the Lanesborough Valley League area. And the first thing we done was held an international course fishing competition. We sent people over to Farnborough in the UK where there was, I think, something like 20,000 visitors. You know, we took a stand there and sold the area. And we had a, a very successful first international fishing competition. From that we contacted the NCFFI as regards holding the world competition, which they said we were cheeky enough, but we were. And eventually we won them over on our side and the competition they got, it was in Ireland, and then we had to fight up other compet competitors in Ireland. And finally, 15, last July, 12 months, we were told we had it subject to two conditions. One, to raise a considerable amount of money, and the other, a technical inspection. We have 17 countries from all over Europe and including South Africa, Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan. So they all descended on us this week. Some of them have been here over the last few weeks too, getting to know the lake. Tell me about your journey to Ireland, bringing your boat with you. Yes, I drive from Russia uh, on the car with uh, my boat. Uh, uh, all trip, uh, uh, five days, it's uh, 5,000 kilometers from my city. Uh, I live in south of Russia. This is my sixth visit in uh, Ireland. Uh, I like Ireland. It's a uh, green island uh, and um, uh, very uh, lucky men live here. Uh, and nice fishing. Uh, I like Irish uh, Irish pikes. Uh, it's uh, very big and strong pikes. Uh, one of uh, the best fishing in the world. It took you five days to drive to Ireland. Is that right? Yes, five days uh, from Russia. Uh, we are Belarus, uh, Poland, uh, Germany, uh, Belgium, uh, fr France, and on ship uh, go to Ireland. It's a massive financial boost for the locality, for Bally League, for Lanesborough, and indeed for further afield into Longford, Roscommon, and Strokestown. They will all benefit from this, and one has to be, you know, um, really show appreciation to the people who organised this, who brought this here, and it just shows you what we can do. I've been involved in this uh, about 40, 50 years, the promotion of angling. And uh, we've had very, very few uh, re receptions and hospitality and the likes of the parade today. It's really been something special. Uh, Lanesborough, you have really sort of taken us to your heart and uh, we appreciate it. Is Ireland a good country to fish? Well, Ireland, we had the reputation at least onto a few years ago that uh, we had very clean virgin waters. Um, Unfortunately, uh, I would say, and I'm saying it directly to government and people in, in, in high places, that they haven't taken care of the water the, the way they should have done. Um, I mean, the, the neglect of sewage works and the pollution has changed the angling to the detriment to the angling. Unfortunately, they're beginning to, to clean it up a little bit now. But um, please, please be careful with your environment. Your environment is perhaps uh, tourism-wise, it's the future of Ireland.
you're talking about a situation here where you have 16 uh, countries from outside of Ireland coming into your country. So it's uh, the world press, and I think with the event the way it was ran this evening, that will have huge impact uh, for tourism in the uh, Longford, Lanesborough, Bala League and Roscommon area. Eric, what preparation had you to make to get here uh, to Bally League for this fishing competition? Well, Geraldine, uh, we held, in England, we held uh, qualifiers for team entry. We've held qualifiers for some years. But this is now my fourth World Championships. I've qualified every year for the team. Now, in preparation for this comp competition, w uh, a group of us came over last month and we fished the lock for a week. We stayed down at Newtown Cashel and uh, we had a great time launching down at Barley Harbour. It's a smashing place. Do you think it's a, it's a good place to fish here in the Midlands of Ireland? I think the lock is beautiful. I think it's a lovely big lock. I think the water's clean and clear. It's just an idyllic place to fish. We're really enjoying ourselves. Have you met the competition yet? I've met the competition, and in fact, a lot of the competition is competition I've met before. Because those people who are in the other teams, many of them, like me, have been to one, more than one World Championship. I, I go back as far as the uh, World Championships at Ennis Skilling, and I've also fished in France and Estonia last year. And I, many of these people here today are fishing the same competitions as me. Now, what would it take to win this competition? Each boat needs to catch 10 big pike. 10 big pike each day will win the competition, and we're well capable of that. Team Ireland, is this your first World Championship? Uh, this is, I've fished for Ireland now uh, six times here. So I have, I do two categories, uh, boat fishing and the bank fishing. So uh, I'm sort of well, well schooled in the Ireland team. <laughs> What's the difference? Uh, the, 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 bank, the bank category, uh, you're using, just fishing from the bank all the time. So you are on your single, as a single person. The, where the boat team there, you'd be fishing as pairs. So it's very important, you know, you work with your partner in the team. Do you fancy your chances? Uh, in Ireland, yes, obviously we're the home nation and we sort of know the water probably more than most teams and we have a couple of local guys here in the team and they know it really well so it gives us a really good opportunity to, to beat the other teams. What part of Ireland are you from? Uh, from County Armagh. So as we have uh, three anglers in the team from County Armagh and then two from Longford and another one from Galway. This is a dream come true today for the community here in Lanesborough and Belly League. A small committee of volunteers, not the biggest committee in the world, but a dream that started two years ago with the World Fishing Championships bid. We had to compete against the best in Europe and the world for the stage of the competition. It's a beautiful day on, on Loch Ree. I was watching the anglers going out this morning, Ger, from uh, four, 17 countries in 34 votes. There wasn't a breeze, the sun was shining and we had a drone up in the sky and I saw some of the pictures and it's majestic. And perhaps next summer we might have a thing called the Loch Ree Trail whereby you can go out on a boat, tip up to La Car, go into the nice restaurant there, have your dinner, come back to the Longford Shoreline and we have a tourism product because food tourism is the most expensive area in terms of tourism. It's growing all the time. And the two counties, Longford and Roscommon, are best friends this weekend. We're on the border, as you know, like yourselves and Ruski. This is the border of the two counties and we have to work together. We've got to promote the, the counties together. We all share the lake and we all share the food too. And we're in the international eye now. We're in the international eye because we have over 300 anglers here. We have a, a party today of about 24 English people and that's what it's all about. We want to send the word out that we're open for business and we're going to be as good as any part of the country. Absolutely certain that this will put the Lanesborough Valley League on, a, on the map forever. Now I've listened to one man today, and he said, "You know, all these countries—they're taking photographs on their phones, they're sending it back to their countries, and you know, Lanesborough never got as much publicity throughout Europe. All these countries are sending them back, and that's good for us. And we do hope they will be coming back." Mm -hmm.